I live in the Philippines, a tropical country where the sun always shines. I think it's perfect to build a project that can harness the power from the sun. So it's time to build a solar panel system. The system I make is not stationary because it tracks the sun. To save money, I made this out of scrap household materials. So let's get started. First, I drill two holes in the aluminum frame and mount a metallic tube in it. This will serve as the axis. The tube is not completely cylindrical so I inserted and glued a PVC pipe. I made a wooden framework for it to be mounted. After that, I assembled the homemade gear systems from old VCD players. Then I place it in the middle part. I was spending a lot of time experimenting with it, it's hard to find the right sign. After making it all work, I took it apart and painted it with used engine oil. This coating makes the wood weatherproof. I mounted it in the roof and approximately aligned the wooden frame to the north using my compass. Then I finally assembled them all back. I'll show you how the simple solar tractor works. It has two nylon windings that are connected on every edge of the solar panel frame. This plastic separate the windings. When it turns clockwise, one of the winding unwinds and the other winds. So basically it pulls either one of the sides depending on the direction it rotates. This is the motor controller circuit that has two ICs. This one controls the motor and this one is a dual open IC. This one amplifies the signal coming from the two LDRs or the light dependent resistor. I put the two LDRs in a water resistant plastic enclosure and perpendicularly mounted it on the frame. This enclosure also shades the LDR when aligned 90 degrees with the sun. For example, when the sun is on the west side, the corresponding LDR receives the light and gives a signal that drives the motor. Now both the panel and the LDR slowly rotates until it aligns 90 degrees with the sun. It stops because the LDR is now shadowed. I cover this with a plastic so whenever it rains it's protected. And also the gears. Let's go down and see that this thing can really charge a 12 volt battery. Now, now I'm charging this battery using this 555 based solar charge controller. With that solar panel, I can charge a phone. Using this back converter, I charge a radio. Or even this lamp.
or storable fan. Basically, you can power anything totally for free. I can connect this to an inverter to power some appliances, but I don't have it now. To be honest, this solar tracker is not perfect. Like the inaccurate orientation sometimes and it has only single axis. But because of this very simple solar tracking technique, at least it increases the efficiency. By the way, I'm Rios. Be in a bit.